punch it. Oh. For fuck's sake. <clears throat> Load game, please. <laughs> We're back, and I have an idea. <laughs> Let's go. I have an idea. Okay. Yeah, uh, apologies for my just like endless stupidity with this. I don't know why I was having such a hard time last time. I was struggling. I just am forever stymied by like you need to do this one thing in just the right way or talk to this one person in adventure games it is my fucking achilles heel um anyway so as far as a drink today um i've gotten lazy i can only think of so many cocktails that have the word rain or like thematically appropriate <laughs> uh so today is a bit of a stretch um what did I do? So, okay, you remember Talking Rain, the, like, sparkling water? Well, I figured, like, that's, you know, rain, right? So I used a, <laughs> a sparkling white claw, just the plain one. Uh, what did I do? Lime juice, vodka, and uh, just a sploosh of the Pellegrino um, lemon, bitter lemon soda. Yeah, uh, I should taste it. I haven't had a sip yet. Mm, very good. Yeah, delicious. Citrus. Okay, so this is my idea. I'm going to go back to the phone because I feel like... What was that? Is that something in my sink? Um, I feel like... There's probably, like, we have to be able to talk to somebody. Okay, so I don't think we called the Air Force Base after we... Oh, no, we definitely did do that last time. Well, this may be an immediate Call dead Air end. Air Force Base, how can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Okay, I'm gonna ask about Charles Wade again. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to okay. provide his contact details to anyone. Okay. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to pretend we have official business. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID is? You can clearly see that you're not calling from the station. <laughs> Damn, I can't yes. pull that off if I call from here. Yes, but we can if we go back to the police station. Here we go. Yes! Progress! I'm very excited. <laughs> Sheriff Station. Let's go. Okay. We need a distraction again. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, I guess. Maybe halfway through. It's the never-ending paperwork. I'm gonna turn this off again. Just for my own comfort. Not this guy's. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. Good to know. <laughs> He's so chipper. <laughs> Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. Here we go again. Okay. Okay, this time. This time. Gonna make progress. Thank you. 
So do I have to pretend to be a different cop this time? Why would he believe me now? Just because I'm calling from a different Hi. number. I was just wondering if you had time to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? I'm sorry, ma'am, but Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide Yes, 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 details. we know, but I have official business. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Wade. No can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. I do have official business. I'm Deputy well, she just uses Reagan. The exact same. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Hmm. I can see that you're actually <laughs> calling from the station. You say okay. you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. The game is being very generous with me. Uh... What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, Playing right? Sex is women done. don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. Check those files. Five, 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 seven, six, four, one. We have a number! Thanks, buddy. Woohoo! Alright. So, we should probably... go back to the other phone. Maybe not. Maybe it's more convincing if I just call everyone I need to talk to from the sheriff's station. Have some clout. Okay. Wait, residents. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. You but people? This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. What a stuck-up, overclass witch. My thoughts exactly. Well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. It's getting late. I should head back to the Yay, city. Yay! That was the trigger! Woohoo! Now watch me immediately get stuck on the first thing for the next day. <laughs> I'm going hey, to struggle my up. way through this goddamn game. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? Mm. Some yeah. shut eye is the plan. I'm about to pass out. Nay, nay. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. Good night, cat. Hey, Kathy, wake up! Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, as you know, I have a computer, and I know this hacker guy, Dave, and... Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? <laughs> a compliment. <laughs> oh, Eileen. So earnest. Mm. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? Dream sequence. You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. Light warmers. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. Ugh. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the <gasps> Is law. Is that young Kathy? <gasps> it's baby Kathy. 
mean, it's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Yeah, this game does get kind of dark at points. Ugh, I hate that dream. Whoa, she's had him really once. So quiet. <gasps> I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Nah. <laughs> Playing hooky. Oh, it looks like she left me a note. Oh, what's get this? New music. Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please, like she actually uses the space bar? <laughs> Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. I don't know her last name. Is mm, our suitcase? Eileen's girly suitcase. There's a sticker on Eileen it with her full Mildred name. Summers. Eileen Mildred Summers. Okay. Uh, use computer? Okay. Uh, Eileen? Mildred? Oh, okay. E. M. Summer? Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, Eileen. Some. Eileen some. No. E. Summers. Aha! <laughs> Blue pillow us. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> that was cute. Um, okay. Empty. Everything's empty. Okay. Well, how do I, um, I must call Dave. Hacker Dave. <laughs> We've got some cool yeah. hacker music too. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. Oh. -ho. <laughs> hacker Burn. Dave. Wow. Just <laughs> wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. Me and Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. <laughs> okay. Uh, can't you hack Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? Your name is Hacker Dave. In my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. Wow, he thinks the shit, what is case. better than the what? <laughs> I know, right? Can you believe that guy? 
You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Thank you. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got an idea. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. Mm, that sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay. okay. You can come over and set it up. But no way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. <laughs> IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, I'm calling you from the toilet as no we speak. <laughs> I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Whoa. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay. A thick white envelope. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. labeled boot one boot your computer using the blue floppy two use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer take the floppy out and reboot three call Clyde at 555-8181 tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen he'll come over and have a look it shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job, after all. Okay. Alright, I remember the first time I played this game, I did have to do this a couple times. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> we'll try it, though. Let's see. Okay, <sighs> boot from the floppy. All right, time for some expert help. That sound was me hitting my teeth with Hi, my glass. Hi, <laughs> Clyde speaking. How can I help you? I have a drinking problem. Um... Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Okay. Hey, Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look. And presto, good as new. Did he log That's in? That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead, I'll wait. Hmm. How do I get him? Ah, okay. So I... Bloop, bloop, bloop.
Wait, what? It said four. Works like a charm. Mission accomplished. I did it four uh, times yeah. though. Thanks, I guess. Son of a bitch. No problem. Let me know if you have any more trouble. I'll be sure to do that. God damn it. Okay. Shit. I have to come up to with a way locked. to force him to four. log on. Do I have to do four different unsuccessful login uh, attempts? Attacks? Login attacks. <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Presto, good as new. Yay! That's perfect. Could could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Butts. I'll let you guess as to what that four-letter word is. Boop, boop, boop. Threes. Oh, it has to be their own password. Um, lewd things. Gross. Ah, oh, now look what I did. Oh, For crying silly. out loud. <laughs> Let me try to log in with my account. Thank you, Clyde. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> Phase one complete. Okay. And now we put this in here. Grab dab dab this. Admin gadget. Excellent. And then I need to log in. Admin gadget. Welcome, Clyde. Network settings. Is Dorm B? Oh god, eight, right? All right, that should do it. Okay. Hacker Dave. Yeah. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! And figuratively, that is. Figuratively. I'm so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I've prepared for you stays in my room then. Sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. <laughs> Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clyde X. Huh, that is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. Yay! I'll just get rid of these notes now. I don't need them anymore. Okay. There was a floppy disk inside. Tools, it says. Okay.
Oh god, I forget. Uh, Angela. <laughs> Tools. Ooh. Oh, you can do that. Uh... Oh, okay. How do I, um... I wish to put the thing in the scanner, though. Do we really have to, like, turn the computer off? Ugh, okay. It's some scanner. advanced scanner thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, not that one. Okay, and then... Oh, okay. Just log back in. Image analyzer. Oh, scanner. Okay, so we can. Ooh. We can adjust it. What the hell is that? Ball lightning? Yeah, that's, um... I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Pretty. Analyze? Oh. Oh, okay, wait. Oh no, wait. Mm. Do it, please don't tell me I have to do it again. Okay, you know what? Look. Okay. Um, can I do this? Noise? Brightness anomalies form a tilted equilateral triangle. That shape has to be significant somehow. Okay. What about, what about this flower? No patching found. Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing? Yeah, print it. Can I go closer? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to find in this picture. Okay. What's this voice forge, though? Oh, drag and drop audio files. Okay, I don't have any audio files as far as I know. I'll just get rid of the original picture now, since I have the restored version anyway. Strange. Now that I look at them, the lights remind me of something I picked up yesterday. Me too. They look a hell of a lot like this church brochure. Can I like combine it with this? Wow, the church logo looks pretty similar to the smoky lights. I might have to visit them after all. Hmm. Here we go. Helene! Oh, hello there, Mildred. Hi yourself, Agatha. <laughs> what? How'd you. Oh, never mind. I know your social security number, too. <laughs> oh, God. Soon you'll start stealing my clothes and then walk around in them pretending to be me. Who says I haven't done that already? I like okay, you, I admit, that's pretty fun. <laughs> So anyway, how did things go with Dave? Pretty good. I had to sabotage your computer. You had to what? Oh, chill outie. It was just a tiny little thing. I just needed an excuse for the IT guy to come by so I could steal his password. Clyde? But he's so nice. Why do you want to steal his password? Of course password? she likes Clyde. It's a long story. Wow, they're hypnotic. Looks like a will of the wisp. You know, the spirit of the forest. Now, that's just silly, Eileen. There has to be a more reasonable explanation for them. Hey, there's nothing silly about forest spirits. You should talk to Meadow, my Wiccan friend. She's really opened my eyes about these sort of things. <laughs> She's adorable. Mm. Isn't that the same Meadow who had an intimate relationship with a tree outside her dorm? 
Oh, come on. That was just a phase. <laughs> it's just a, it's not a phase, Trust Mom. me, I've been through every phase in the book. That definitely isn't one of them. So anyway, is there anything I can do to help? Well, my side of the room is starting to get a bit messy. There's always that. <laughs> I met with the investigation, silly. I guess you could try to find out more about these lights. Maybe figure out where that picture was taken? Sounds good. I know exactly where to start. Oh, and yeah, feel free to keep using my computer. I don't need it right now. All right, I think I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to motivate Erica Wade to talk to me. Okie dokie. All right. So what did she say? We have to get her to believe that Charles Wade wants us to call him. Nah, I have nowhere I need to go right now. Really? What about the church? Okay. All right. So we need to we need to use some some phone calls. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, but how would I like? Oh, wait, because the oops. Son of a bitch. Okay. Answering machine. Combine it. The dictaphone. Examine dictaphone. Okay. So let's You've reached again. the rain residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Yes. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. Uh, it happened to me too. And I'm not going to tell any of those bastards. They got it all wrong. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Yeah, but how do I transfer this to the computer? Put put this into. I don't see how. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um. Okay. So how do I use this? Drag and drop audio files. How do I get an audio file though? Do I call Dave? I don't need to call him right now. But I need to know how to use the fucking software. Clyde? IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Never mind. Suit yourself. Okay. Eileen's obnoxious alarm clock. The noise makes me want to stab myself with something dull. So I have the phone, I have the scanner, I have the computer, I have the printer. I have Eileen. Okay. Okay. How do I... How do I record an audio file? Can I... Can I use this with the computer? The tapes can be put directly in the scanner. What? What kind of scanner is this? 
What? <laughs> okay. Scan the cassette tape. The fuck? <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? Five distinct voices. Okay. This is what we want. Okay. <laughs> so how do I make... <laughs> okay. So, um... Let's see. Can we say, like, hello, Erica? Looks maybe she soon thing. Okay. Um, Erica, it's... Your father, Charles. I'd like you to call Kathy. I'd where was like where was like like you or wait, to have Kathy call me. You okay? So two. I'd like Kathy to call me. To call Okay, hello, Erica. It's your father, Charles. I'd like so do we have like talk? Do we have like can I say like I'd like to talk? To Kathy, I'd like Kathy to call. Or I'd like to talk. Talk. Um, is this good enough? Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's Thinking thought to visit. I mean, I, yeah, I'd like. No, that seems kind of weird. Hello, Erica. It's your father's. It's your father child. It's your father child. <laughs> Hello, Erica. It's your father child. <laughs> it's your father Charles. Um, let's see. Um, I'd. Let's see. I'd like. We remember, um, or like if do we have if? No, father firstborn. <laughs> um, it's your father, Charles. Why don't we have if? Um, uh, 
Okay, call me. Call me. What? No. Listen to Kathy. Listen to Kathy. Listen to Kathy. Um, she or like I I want her to call. Me. I should First probably day. mention myself. Kathy Rain. I did. Okay. Listen to Kathy Rain. Where's Rain? Where's Rain? Listen to Kathy Rain. I want. I want. <laughs> I. <laughs> God damn it. Oh God, what did I just say? Um. Listen to Kathy Rain. I did I say that before? I want I want her to visit. Okay, listen to Kathy Rain. She wants to call me. How about that? Almost just a few more tweaks. Okay. Oh. oh okay. Good enough. Good enough. That should <laughs> Yay. Work. Good. Oh wow. Hello, Erica. It's probably called Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. By all. <laughs> okay. Hey, I got close enough. <laughs> All right, the forged message should now be at the end of the original tape. Cool. Okay. Quit. So now I can um, put this back in here and combine this with the phone. That combination makes. Yes, it does. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna call. What, what's her face? And I'll play the tape for her. You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. That combination makes no sense. What? Why can't I play it? Hello, Erica. It's your father. Call Kathy Rain and give her what she wants. Bye. Okay. <laughs> You've reached Erica Wade. Leave a message after the beep. Hi, Erica. This is Kathy Rain. I spoke to your father. He asked me to get in touch with you and said he would call ahead. You can reach me at 555-8352. Bye. Your move, Erica. All right. So. Now that's some out of the box thinking. Thank you, Eileen. Yep, just might be silly enough to work. <laughs> well, time for a break. Gotta eat something before I pass out. Okie dokie, I'll stay here and keep digging. All right, see you in a bit. You got lunch without me? Hey! So, any progress with the search? Yeah, I was able to identify that flower. It's called the Red Scythe, or Rosea falcus. 
I discovered that there was a small nature reserve near Conwell Springs, which was established in 89. The Red Scythe is on their list of endangered plants. I made a photocopy of the botany book page in case you want it later. That's Do you something. Want it? I should go check it out. Maybe I can narrow down the place where that picture was taken. And, uh, good work, Eileen. Happy to help. So, what? Oh, hang on. I'll go get that. Okie dokie. It's for me. Again? Hello? This is Erica Wade calling for Kathy Rain. Speaking. Miss Rain, but this is terribly awkward. I realize now how rude I was before. Do you? I wanted to apologize and ask if there is anything I can do. I mean, Kathy would probably rub it in, right? Not being obnoxious to people on the phone would be a good start, Erica. I suppose I deserve that. Now, clearly, you wanted to speak to me. So now's your chance. <laughs> Okay, so we have all these options. Um, where should we start? Let's start with her father. What can you tell me about Mr. Wade? My father is a great man. He has so many ideas, so much left to realize, which makes it hurt so much more to see him like this. See him like what? Dull? The illness and everything, your of course. You said you saw right. him. Yeah, it must be hard. Oh, yes, indeed. I wish he wouldn't be so stubborn with his treatment. He could go to any state-of-the-art hospital, but insists on being treated <sighs> in that backwater clinic in Conwell Springs. Fuck yeah, he's here. A community clinic in the middle of town? Yes. It's like he's given up and is just waiting for the inevitable to happen. Okay. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? It may be an Air Force call sign. I can't say that I do. Father had many friends in the Air Force, but no one I can recall by that name. Okay. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather that night in 81? Not really, no. But what I do know is how it destroyed Father. It did? Oh, yes. The two of them were great friends once. And when Joseph was hurt, they hadn't been talking for some time. Father always hoped they would be able to reconnect one day. He kept putting it off, believing they had time. But in the end, it never happened. That's sad. So, what were things like back when they were still good friends? Oh, they were like peas in a pod. <laughs> Always sharing their war stories and, and laughing together. In a way, Joseph became the uncle I never had. He was around a lot when Father went out on business trips. Later on, I, I even met you a few times, when you were just a baby. I don't remember any of that. Oh, no matter. You were so little then. Erica, I have to ask. Why were you so defensive on the phone earlier when I tried to reach out? Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Our families haven't been in touch for a long time. I don't remember exactly when it happened, but we all started drifting apart. My guess is that it had to do with Father's growing wealth. Friendship needs common ground, and we started living in different worlds. What happened to your grandfather was the final nail in the coffin. Father just couldn't bear seeing him like that. Neither alive nor dead. Okay. Do you know anything about the Church of the Holy Trinity? It's the one and only church in Conwell Springs. I was baptized there, and I married my husband there. Anything out of the ordinary about them? Oh, not really. They seem like a typical church to me. What do you know about Lily Myers? She was a young artist who lived somewhere in Conwell Springs. Killed herself, if I recall correctly. Dreadful thing. But other than that, not much. We never knew the family. What do you know about Lily Myers' art? Oh, that little girl had a twisted mind, let me tell you that. Oh, my father used to have a few pieces of hers in his collection. Horrible things. I need to see those. I couldn't understand why he ever decided to procure them in the first place. You say, used to have. Did he get rid of the paintings? Oh, either that or... Oh, he put them in storage somewhere. I haven't seen them for years. I never bothered to ask him why. Glad to be rid of them, quite frankly. Right, that's it. Okay, that's all I needed. Very well. Feel free to call back if you have any more questions. All right. Wade is in Conwell Springs. He's being treated in the clinic. 
good that to know. That was Erica Wade. Her father is being treated at the clinic in Conwell Springs. Being treated? He's sick? Looks that way. Small miracle they managed to keep it out of the press. Yeah, I suppose you are returning to talk to him? It'll have to be tomorrow. It's quite late for that now. I suppose. Scrabble? Oh, you're Scrabble. so on. I will crush I'll you. I'll play Scrabble. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, we have another dream. Ooh. The fuck Turning is this? Turning your pawn into a queen. Is that the plan, buddy boy? You know me. I'm always playing the long game, Who old is that? friend. That may be, but you're running out of pieces. First you lost your queen, then your knight. All that matters is the king. Illusional as always. The king is dead. Long live the king. Check. What? Is that a prophetic dream? Good morning, sunshine. Please tell me I dreamt all those Scrabble losses last night. Three times in a row. Rub it in, why don't you? I'll just go strangle myself now. Oh, you. Don't be a sore loser. So what's the plan today? Mr. Wade is the plan. I'll head for the clinic right away. Right While away. I'm at it, I'm going to check out the church and the nature reserve. Yes. Okie dokie. So what can I do to help? To do. Why don't you continue looking into the lights? I have a feeling they're the key to solving all of this. You could also look up the history of Conwell Springs in general, see if anything unusual has been going on. I'll get right on it. Great. Thanks, E. Oh, by the way, don't forget to check out the page I gave you about the red scythe. It's a pretty interesting flower. Right. Yeah. Cool. Well, we've definitely made some progress. Should we? Should it's we a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in okay. concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so we've got several uh, options now for where to go from here. I think I'm, this is a good stopping point. I have to pee and also eat dinner. So that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day, evening, morning, night, noon, whatever. See you soon. Bye.